your storm track weather with Chief Meteorologist Matt Miller. The showers over the southern and eastern areas are moving on out, so they won't linger for too much longer, but there's still a few of those out there moving on through. We have cool weather throughout the weekend with cloud cover hanging around today. We should clear out late today, clear tomorrow, and then cloud up again with more rain as another system moves across the area during the early part of the week, followed by warmer conditions in the later part of the week and a little bit more clearing returning to the region as well. Cloud cover though hanging around. I think we'll have widespread clouds for much of the day for much of the area, although some will start to see more and more clearing. It's going to be tough to warm up. That was a view at Emporia. We haven't had rain at Junction City, but the clouds are that far to the west and even farther than that. So widespread cloud cover Hanging over Topeka as well. The showers are exiting out of Shawnee County right now. 54 degrees. Feels like 54 because you don't register a wind chill until you're below 50. But when you have that much cloud cover and a breeze, it will feel chilly today. No doubt about it. As we're looking at a current reading of 50 at Sabetha and Marysville, 51 for Blue Rapids, as well as Riley, 52 at St. Mary's and Linden. It is downright cool out there, especially considering that, you know, that's 50s in the morning. That's not that chilly. That's not going to move much today. And that's what really makes today so cool. The northerly wind at about 10 to 20 miles per hour much of the day, at least 10 to 15 much of the day, occasionally getting closer to 20. And then that north breeze subsiding slightly this afternoon. The clouds will take until late before they can start to clear. And then we have a clear sky expected for tonight with a light and variable wind allowing for chilly temperatures then light breeze around should be really nice on Sunday. We get more sunshine back. There's a look at the more widespread rain to the south and southeast over northeastern Oklahoma, southwest Missouri to the west snow from Denver southward through Colorado Springs, Pueblo and out into the high plains of eastern Colorado, nearly to the Kansas border. And then a little break in the precipitation with those scattered showers moving through here. Still a possibility of a, a redevelopment of a few showers through 9 or 10. After that, it's a slow clearing toward the afternoon and then a clear sky tonight into the morning tomorrow before we become partly cloudy. And that's going to allow for a chilly round of temperatures, upper 40 or upper 30s and low 40s uh, late tonight, tomorrow morning. But then with sunshine, Sunday looks to be beautiful, followed by another system coming in, more clouds on Monday, and a chance for more rain showers by late in the day on Monday. Today we hit a high of 58. We'll cool back down uh, after the upper 50s, about 58, 59 or so across the area. We fall back down into the 40s and then warm up tomorrow into the upper 60s. But again, with that sunshine, should be pleasant in the late part of the day tomorrow. Here's a look at it. Numbers 58, I think is what we'll hit with the early showers. We've had a few thunderstorms. Most of that is winding down. Then clear 41 tonight, back to 67 for the high temperature tomorrow. After that, we do cool again. That's with more widespread clouds and showers, about a 70% chance of rain on both Tuesday and Wednesday, or excuse me, mon um, Monday and Tuesday. Wednesday morning will be the end of the rain showers, drops off to about a 40% chance. And then we start to see a slow warming and a slow clearing as we finish up the weekend, head into next weekend, which is Memorial Day weekend. And so, you know, the unofficial start to summer and well, those temperatures don't really look like it exactly. Yeah, it's, you know, <laughs> it's looking a little low for summer, but it is. But you know, a lot of people are really concerned.